Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on a 1998 Toyota Celsius. Now you might be thinking, we've already done a review on that. Well, this is like a one month owner review. What I think of the car after owning it for a month, pros, cons I've found, and etc. I'm midway through lowering it. It's lowered through on the front, but not on the back. We're gonna get onto that because yeah I only had time to put springs in the front and so it's sitting on a bit of an angle right now looks a little bit weird but we're gonna fix that we're gonna get onto that hopefully this weekend and maybe do an exhaust job as well bought those lowering springs I didn't even know that I was entering a giveaway and then I ended up winning that giveaway big muffler well, the muffler itself isn't that big, but big tips. So, I do like the look of it, so I, want, I think I will put it on the car. But I kind of want two of them, so I can have two either side. So far, this car has been nothing but wonders. It runs great, it sounds great, it's comfortable to drive. Even putting in these new lowering springs, which are a lot more harsh, it's still great to drive. The handling is a little bit weird as the back of the car is higher than the front so it does feel a little bit off but if you've watched my previous videos and you know about my Alteza you'll see that it, it is also higher on the back than it is in the front that is because I don't know what the suspension like how it's done in the Alteza I have never messed around with the suspension in it and I'm thinking that the previous owners probably did some tinkering of their own and that's why it may look like that but I'm not 100% sure. I have found with my saw is water seems to come in through here or through around there as one of the corners of my boot, I think it's this corner got a little bit damp and it made the boot smell uh, quite weird I don't know whether that's a common thing in these cars or not but that's just what I've found. Something I found quite weird with this car was this light that pops on. You just wait a moment and it'll pop up. That one there. So I sent that, a picture of that text right there to someone I know in Japan. So it is telling you that the headlights are angled wrong. And in my case, they're angled too far to the ground because the car is on a slant and so the headlights are looking more towards the ground. That was something else that I found that was quite interesting. Everything else all good, all the interior still intact. Loving the leather seats. I love the electric bits of it. We're pulling apart the back seats as you can see it goes like that. Because where the rear strut towers are. So I need to get behind there to unbolt them to hopefully then pull the spring out and put my new lowering ones in it. Um, so yeah, we've already done the front. Me and one of my mates and we're gonna do the back soon and then she'll be looking mint then next will be an exhaust job like it's already got two mufflers removed two of the both the end ones but it sounds a little bit odd so we're gonna fix that probably take the other mufflers out put some hush mufflers in there sound mint that's just what i've looked at online that's like one of the best ways to do it overview of the car the white and grey sort of colourway. This car is a dream. I picked this car up for 8600 which is a steal for one of these. It came with an extra set of rims, which I don't use because I don't really like them, to be honest. So I'm going to buy some of my own, and I think it'll look cool. Wrap up today's video. If you want to go and check out my full review of this car, it is on my YouTube channel. Go check it out. It's probably posted maybe a month ago, two months ago, roundabout. I'm not actually sure how long I've had this car for, but if you want to go check that out and it'll be a full proper review of the car and what it's like to, I don't know, what it's like, what you're really buying, go check that out. And I'll catch you in the next one.